G'day everyone, this is Jill, also known as Jenny Oz, and I'm wandering down Innovation Alley at Roots Tech 2018. I'm a user of a program called DNA Painter. I'm a very basic user, but I can see that it's got wonderful potential for helping me sort out my DNA matches. I was so excited yesterday when I saw that the program actually won the grand prize in the DNA Innovation Contest at Roots Tech. And luckily, Johnny Pearl, who is the developer and the brains behind DNA Painter, has agreed to have a chat with me in this downtime while everyone else is in learning about other things. So, g'day Johnny Pearl. Hi Jill, how are you? I'm great, well I'm not too great, but anyway, it's uh, great to be talking to you. So, how did Johnny Pearl come to DNA Painter? Were you a developer looking for a niche, or were you a genealogist who was frustrated with your DNA results? Uh, I, think, I think the latter is probably closer to it, yeah. I mean, I was already a genealogist for about 10 years. Um, I was a late comer to DNA, really, I was probably a skeptic. Um, I took the test in December of 2016, I think, so I got the results only just over a year ago, and uh, I didn't feel that the um, tools available to me were what I wanted. Um, I kind of knew that I wanted to do chromosome mapping before I knew what chromosome mapping was, if you like, so that, that's what happened. And it happened that I was a developer, so I could do that. So your background was as a developer? Yeah, I, I've been a freelance web developer for about three years. Previously I had a company, but I wanted to take some time off and look after my kids. So. so have you got a bit of a mathematical bent? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I'm actually a, a graduate of English literature. Oh, really? But, uh, my mother was a math teacher. I'm a, I'm a musician, so... Ah, yeah, oh, that goes so well with maths. Math yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And have you been surprised by the way your program has taken off or you really Mostly. knew you were on a winner? Well, yes and no. I, I knew that it was perfect for me at the beginning. Uh, to me, I didn't, I didn't have to explain to myself. I seemed to... It, it, there was some force behind, I'm not a religious man, but there was some force behind it beyond me, if you like. Yes. Um, but as soon as I started to describe it to people and test it, I realised it was not going to be mm. straightforward for people. Yeah. So an enormous part of the process is actually making it um, mm. better every day. So. Just, just being able to visualise things, I didn't realise I was a bit of a visual learner, but I think perhaps I am. Visualisation is really important, but I can tell you the process of building this site was really as much about users as it was about me. I mean, I think it's quite good now, but if you'd seen it in... July, when I first put it out there to a handful of English users, you, you would not have been as impressed because a lot of really you need to use it to learn about to, to learn what, what's needed. So it's not even one year old. No, um, and you've had this success. I, I, um, I launched it by mistake. Um, I put a lot of time into into it, but it's just something of your baby. You don't quite know when to release it, and I wasn't quite sure how to do it. Um, and I was in an English. Um, genetic genealogy group which is mm -hmm. fantastic and I learned so much there because you have to remember a year ago I knew nothing about this topic at all so I'd learned a lot of the basics um, and I, I was quite happy with it but I knew it needed some work so I did some user testing with that group and then I joined this American Facebook group called um, Genealogy Tips and Techniques so it's a big group a mm -hmm. lot of stuff every day and I immediately kind of realised I was in a sort of bigger marketplace for it if you like but I didn't really know how to put it out there um, at all. So what happened was on September the 3rd last year, completely casually, without thinking about it at all, someone said, oh, I wish there was some tool available so I could do this, and I thought, well, this is my moment. So I just casually commented and said, well, I've built this. And enough people are in that group that a certain number of people looked at it, and it mm -hmm. started to kind of spread um, and sort of took off from there. So it was the most um, chaotic soft launch in history. But it so it's a bit of a chaotic time because you only knew you were coming to Roots Tech. Uh, a few weeks ago, was uh, it? No? What, what I did was when I entered the contest, I decided to come. Oh, OK. Whether I won or lost, it, mm -hmm. I think it would be a good chance to come and meet people and connect. It so. is, certainly. There's no other place that, that no, exactly. has so, so much exposure. Yeah. And so has, does the prize make a difference to you? Uh, I think it does, yeah. I mean, it, it, there's some money involved. For development? There's, there's a lot of recognition. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine today will be the biggest day ever for sign-ups um, mm -hmm. on the site. To be honest, sign-ups have kind of gone a bit crazy since the turn of the year. I don't know if yeah. everyone bought a DNA test for their relative for Christmas year to see what happened, but we had a, a steady growth, growth really yes. through the end of last year. And, but, then talk. Uh, and I thought it was going great. And then January hit, and I'm getting like, sort of a few thousand new users every month. So Fantastic. It's, uh, it's incredible, yeah. And so what plans have you got for the future, or are you just minds boggled? Uh, well, the main plan is to make it better. I mean, it's quite good now, but I know it can yeah. be better. There's a lot more 
can be automated. I have tried as hard as I can to make it comprehensible, mm -hmm. and some people get it immediately and are delighted and shout mm -hmm. with compliments, and other people quite reasonably say, I don't know what you're talking about, but, yeah, what is this, this, please help me, and they feel angry because they see other people love it and they want to love it, but well, they can't because they don't get it. And, and that's my responsibility to try and make it as I think easy to use as possible. For I, I'm people. noticing how responsive you are to comments. Well, I care because I want, it, I want everyone to be able to use it because it, if everyone can do this, then mm -hmm. it helps all of us. So your focus now, you said you're a freelance um, web developer, is your focus now on this on this product? Yeah, I've started to turn down work because I want to sure. focus on this. So, Fantastic. Yeah, that, that really Oh, well, Johnny, it's so good to meet you in person, and yeah. I just look forward to using the product. I think if this old bag can work it out, most people should be able to with, with a bit of persistence well, and with all the help you're giving us. Let me know how you go. Thank you. Thanks.